the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. BoxerVoice.com live here with Hank Lundy. Hank, you're taking on Avery Sparrow, undefeated prospect. I believe he might have a draw, but uh, he was tied to Chris Colbert. I mean... It was supposed to be a big fight with him and Chris Colbert on PBC. You're stepping up to the plate. Um, talk to us, man. How do you feel about this one? Man, listen, they, they think the, um, the old guy, which we're going to call it, you know what I mean? One thing about it, I'm in my primes right now. And Hank Lundy, man, we got some new additions to the team, man. We looking good, sharpened up. So whatever y'all thought y'all saw, it ain't going to be there. And listen, one thing about it, they messing with the old junkyard dog. I'm that dog that's in the back of the cage or in the back of the lot that nobody want to mess with. You know what I mean? And he gonna, young boy going to find out. Now, Hank, this is a big step up for him. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I didn't expect for you to be in this fight with every Spyro. Um, if he gets the win, this is a one-up on his rival, Chris Colbert. But why wouldn't he over a veteran like yourself? Man, he ain't winning nothing. You know what I mean? It, it, it's so much around the table that I know, and you got to be 100% to fight and beat a Hank Lundy. And your life outside the ring got to be 100% too. Like, I'm stopping this kid. Like, when I tell you, I'm trying to break body parts on him, and that's what I'm intending to do. I'm going to hurt him, and I mean it. What's different in training camp? You said you added new things. You have new, you changed some people up. What's different in training camp? Where are you holding training camp for this one? Um, actually, you know, it's up in, um, what's that, West Oak Lane, you know. I'm still Mary Anderson, too, but there's a lot of things that you um seen in previous fights, you know, some of the recklessness, you know what I mean, more, we got more defense, you know what I mean, when we exchanging punches, we nice and tight and we sharp. We ain't gonna give too much out the bag, but it's war time, man. Y'all know how I lock in, man. It's time to go. I'm gonna be honest, uh, I respect what you're doing. You know, taking on an undefeated prospect like this, this reminds me of Lewis Colazzo. Look at the position Lewis is in now. Exactly. Rumored to get a shot with someone you fought, Terrence Crawford. Right. Getting another shot, he just got re-signed to top rank. Exactly. So this is what boxers do, you know. we, When the back is against the wall, it's up to you to change the media's mind, change right. the public's mind. What is it you see in Spiral, other than the fact that you have more experience than him? Well, I put it like this. At the end of the day, the kid remind me of me a little bit, you know what I mean? Willing to fight anybody. But it's more to it, you know what I mean? He's actually not the, the total package of Hank Lundy. It's just I like that willingness to fight anybody, you know what I mean? That's Hank Lundy. So put two of us in a ring, and, you know, I can tell you this. I'm going to be dominant and victorious, you know what I mean, March 15th. He's going to be laid out on his back, and I promise that. Hank, I, I got a feeling maybe you guys have worked together, him being from the Philadelphia area, up-and-coming prospect. How would he want an opportunity to spar with someone like yourself? Right. Have you guys... Are you that familiar? Have you sparred? I sparred him, man. Played around with him like a little, like a little brother, man. Just use nothing but the jab on him, man. You know, um, it's crazy. I'm training. One of his trainers said, man, you know, this kid crazy trying to fight you. You were just playing with him. You weren't even hitting him. You know what I mean? But that's what I like about these young kids. You know what I mean? Little boys. When they want to step up to a man, I'm going to show you what a man do. I'm going to show you how a man punch. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you how a real man get down, man. So now, what weight is this fight contracted at? Because Chris Colbert fluctuates from 126 to 130. So are you guys taking this fight at 130? 135. Okay. He won the big dog. He got to come up and rumble with the big dog. 135. So he jumping up. He really a 126 pounder. So you, you, you coming up to the big dogs now. Like I told you, man, night, night. Damn, Hank. So I mean, with him moving up damn near two divisions, if not three, are you the A side in this fight, and 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 the media doesn't even know? And is your promoter getting you the the the, the two? Is Avery your tune up? Well, I'm gonna put it like this, man. Um, it's Eddie Hearn's card, Russell Powell's card, CES. You know, I'm gonna put it like this. My back always against the wall. Even though we from Philly, Philly hold Hank Lundy down. But at the end of the day, my back against the wall. So when I'm going in that ring, I'm not the hometown guy. He not the hometown guy. Yeah, you know I mean, but I'm just taking it in my heart. I'm on his territory, and I'm coming to fight, and I'm coming to knock him out, point blank. All right, man, now that we got all the fight talk out the way, I mean, talk to me about that drip. Oh, man, you know, it's just a little something. I just looked in the closet and then got out. Yeah, I mean, to show y'all, Hammer and Hank, you know, we getting it too, but we low-key with it, man. You know, one thing about it, 
I ain't a loud dude, but when I step out in the lights, I got to show something, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> Hank, man, last question, final prediction. Oh, man. Knockout. You already know where I'm going with, man. Too powerful, too fast, too strong. An event. You know what I mean? You got to think about it. When you got a guy like Bernard Hawkins running around in your city, you got no choice but to suck up game. You know what I mean? You got to live the fighter's life. Is Avery living the fighter's life? You'll see. Family, yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.